All right, all right, all right. Welcome to Sideboard MTG. My name's Eric, and it's time for a league with our Blue Black Pirates. Welcome, everybody. Uh, if you do like today's show, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the community, go ahead and hit that subscriber button and uh, welcome. Also, if you want to play this deck or any other, remember, Mana Traders has got you covered. And if you do sign up, there's a link in the description box below. Use coupon code SIDEBOARDMTG15 to save yourself 15% off of your first four months. All right, guys. What is up? Oh no, we gotta change that. We got we gotta get over to to chat where I can I can see you guys. Where's chat? There's chat. What's up, guys? Justin, Alba T. Ross, Alba Tross, Jeffrey. It goes down as the DM. Justin, did I say Justin already? I might have. I might have. Is that for the horde? What's up, guys? Let me get my chat restored and we'll be able to go further up. Alright. Lamp! It's my stream. You stay out of this. Alright. Je Jeremiah, Mitch. We got a bunch of people in here. For the Horde. I know I said it goes down as the DM. Magic Hefe. Jose. What's up, Jose? And Sushi Mushi. He was excited about this one. Sushi, Sushi was making some comments pretty early after I, I posted the deck tech. So hopefully we'll do well with the deck. I'm excited uh, to be able to play it. It's It's been really good in testing. Level 87 code. What? What's level 87? I know like rule 34 or something, something like that. What? Huh? Yeah, we'll stay away from that. All right. What's up, guys? What, what do y'all think? I mean, you guys like it? Yeah? No? Um... I'm either going to completely black out the background here, or, um, I don't know, like, it, we may black it out so that then I can change the background digitally to anything I want, and it would just be me and Lamp. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, it, 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 it's, it's looking to be interesting anyway. Uh, got some lighting, so, you know, I don't look so skeletal, uh, vicious conquistador. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll actually get some sun, you know. Anyway, yep, yeah, I'm excited to be home. I really am. I'm excited to be back in Mississippi. So uh, that that seems really great, right? Exactly. Well, I could uh, I could I could green screen the back, and then I could I could change it digitally. So yeah, I was thinking about doing that. So that is an option. But popcorn time for some MTG games. There we go. All right. Well. Uh, you love all the black cards. The rest, not so much. Understood. All right. Well, uh, Siren Tor Storm Tamer is kind of what we um, what we're using to protect our Warkite Marauder, and uh, we also using you know the, the Lookout's Dispersal. You know, we're using those to really protect our creatures. And then this is just a great draw engine. Uh, the fact that we're looking in their hand pretty often, we kind of know what's going on with this deck, or we know what's going on against the opponent, and that should help us make better lines. Um, when I was playing the deck, I, I had to, to stop myself from trying to play what the opponent could draw and just play what I knew he had. And it was uh, quite often against control, especially after you bring in the duresses and such that you are getting a look at, at the opponent's hand. So, uh, Either way, uh, the, the deck is it, it's really fun. And uh, most of the time by turn four, you're, you can play a two drop and swing with a flat Fathom Fleet Captain. I have had those uh, ridiculous, you know, where you... You go turn two, uh, Fathom Fleet, turn three, Fathom Fleet, turn four, make two pirates. Uh, and, and at that point, you're not really having to add to the board. But um, a lot of times, I really wouldn't want to take that line, but it just kind of opened up in testing. But Rune Raider, the, probably the most kind of on the fringe card here. I mean, it's so dangerous taking four off of a hostage taker in game one against, like, Red Deck or something like that. So, uh, you know, those, that's, uh, that, that's kind of, woo. What's up, Zax? How you doing? Well, we'll be getting, you know, coffee time and all of those things rolling again here in this next week. I've got a lot of a lot of streams I want to do. I got some making up to do. Um, I had uh, I had problems getting up the 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 videos and getting them recorded for the uh, these games. I wanted to have all of these pre-recorded, and I had problems. So 
Um, yeah, I I said, you know what? We'll just get everything set up. Let's get back to streaming, and then we'll just take care of it from there. So that's where we're at. Anyway, guys, if you do want to check out the deck tech, um, the deck tech is made on the channel. You'll be able to check it out uh, there if you decide that you like this deck and you wanted to see more about it. But uh, for right now, we're gonna we're gonna jump into our league. Let's go do this. Yeah, you guys, ready? Here we go. Whoa, more light. Boom. Okay. Oh, we, we got to get into a league. I was about to just join a test game. We don't need to do that. Competitive league. All right. Ooh, being a little slow. All right, here we go. Here's the deck. Can't wait for the action to start and see how this deck runs. Uh, you know, in, in testing, we I, I just kept running into just great matchups. I, I don't know what those great matchups are, but it just it, it kept being good. Uh, it's just uh, Workai Marauder, it, they would end up spilling their, spending their kill spells on everything other than Workai Marauder, and then he would just destroy them. Um, there was one game where I, I think I, I played against a challenger or something like that uh, on uh, that was live and it was one of the leagues here not too long ago uh, but I, I pulled this deck out and, and played it then uh, and it, that was the I guess budget version of the deck um, that was also before uh, I put the curious obsessions in the deck um, this card has just been phenomenal in testing um, yeah, sure. I mean, we, we're going to draw some cards. Yeah, I'll keep. Mulligan to five? Alright, let's fix this. Where is my OBS? Going for a week? I forget how to stream. What is going on? All right, um, here we go. Look out, dispersal. That'll be decent on turn four. Um, hopefully, we'll hit some land. We do need to have another pirate before this is while well, against Grixis. All right, well, it's definitely. Uh, we'll go ahead and try to run this out. have a little bit more of these than I really want. Um, Kitesail Freebooter is good here. So he's going to go ahead and harness lightning the Kitesail. And... Wow. All right, so Metallurgic Summoning, Sweltering Suns, and Pull from Tomorrow. Okay. He's stuck on land as well. Doesn't have double blue. Okay, well, this is not horrible. This is not horrible. Let's fix that chat. Looks like the bottom's cut off just a little bit. There we go. Haven't seen me in a while. How have I been? Ah, man, I've been great. Uh, I've been great. Um, he didn't hit his land. Well, we did. Wonder if he hit a kill spell. And so now I am okay with running out this Warkite Marauder. I know he's got the Sweltering Sun, so if he hits a land... You know what?
Let's just not. Maybe we can just race him here. Oh, he just he's going to go ahead and go into... Okay, well. Alright, so... He's definitely a control deck. I'm going to take out the Fatal Pushes. Cartouche I could probably live without, but it's also a really, really good card. Duress uh, comes in over the Fatal Push. Hostage Taker... Probably not so much as, I mean, yeah, I could get around some kill spells, pick up my own dudes, things like that. I'm probably just going to go with the negates here over the hostage takers. And this gives me, uh, you know, seven counter spells. And then, of course, we can counter heal with the duress. I really like cartouche because it just kind of sticks around as a kill spell. And it can uh, help put us up over the edge. Uh, and just allow us to keep a nice high life total against, you know, these huge, you know, 5-5 five, five gear hulks and things like that. So, uh, Rune Raider, you know, with Cartouche, kind of, they kind of balance out together. So, I'm going to I'm gonna try to run it back like this. I want... I actually want these. But I want to stay slightly aggressive. Curious Obsession, he'll definitely want to be able to to pinpoint kill those, but I'm wondering just how much he's relying on... Let's say he can kill a little bit more. Um, we'll take out one Curious Obsession, and... I don't want to reduce my creature count by much. Maybe a uh, Rune Raider. Yeah. I mean, Rune Raider's, like, great in this matchup, though. Maybe it should have been a Cartouche. But I do need some way to kill, but I also want to stay somewhat fast. This will be okay. It's not fast, though, at all. Or do we just pray that he gets messed up? I mean, we've got protection against Search. Um, I mean, I'm okay with this. Hey, I'm, I'm glad you guys miss me, that's all, you know? That's, uh, that's great. I, I miss streaming. I, I was, I was excited to be able to get everything back up, and, you know, of course we've got, we've got Lampy here. You know, Lampy's pretty cool. I, I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with, uh, how Lamp has turned out. So, um, yeah. All right, here we go. Ooh, another Field of Ruin. Uh, we'll just play the first one here. And then next turn we can kite tail freebooter. Sweet. No magma spray. Really? All right. So if he magma sprays, he magma. Sp All right. So we know we would want him to magma spray here. So what do we do? Just like kite cell over kite cell, march to the drown, get them both back. Is that the play? Cool. All right. Um. Since he's got three one mana kill spells here, I guess I will take a magma spray. I mean, he's got redundancy in it. I guess maybe take the the fatal push, but everything I have dies to Magma Spray anyway, so I expect him to just do it at end of turn. Or now, of course. There we go. Yeah. Um, I think that's going to be the play. We're just going to try to go for this March of the Drown. Uh, I'll probably end up cycling this, especially now that I have double blue, double black. Next turn, I may actually. All right, so this time I have to take Magma Spray. Oh, why? All right. Now those are gone, so we won't be bringing those back. But 
Yeah, if he would have let me resolve it, I would have had to have taken Magma Spray to make him spin the, the push. I wonder how many red sources he actually has. We know... Spray's gone, spray's gone. We know about push. So we know the four cards in his hand. Push. Bonus hunger, glimmer. He's gonna glimmer next turn. I'll go ahead and play this. I could have popped this and still played it, which would have been more mana efficient, but I want to just hold up the cycle here. So he pushes, of course. Okay, uh, we'll go ahead and cycle. Glimmers now. Okay. Duress. Alright. I'm gonna be greedy and wait on the uh, Fathom Fleet Captain. Well, that's an Angrath. Alright, well, we did get rid of an Angrath. I'm gonna uh, just go get another Black Source here, I think. Whirler. Andrew! Thank you, good sir! And took over the stream boss. Um, congrat congratulations. I hope you enjoyed the vampires, Andrew. And uh, thank you for the the welcome back. You know? um, and the cup explodes. Should have made them bombs. I, I really should have. Okay. Do we counter Whirler? Can we beat Whirler? I don't think I can beat Torrential. I mean, I can. I think I can beat Whirler. Can I delete the plague? Oh, sorry. I... He's played the island. And he's played Whirler now. So we know... I need a land. Or I need a, a creature here. I think I'm going to just go ahead and pull this back. Yeah, it's not the value I wanted, but it's the value I'm going to try to take. I mean, he can... He can look out's dispersal. I mean, uh, he can uh, bonus hunger it, and uh, I can still counter that. Another Whirler. I think I'm gonna counter the Whirler. I don't. I don't want to deal with yet another one, and I don't want him getting six energy. He's at five right now, so uh, getting you know the three extra energy. That's. It's not exactly where I want him to be. Land. Okay, okay, okay. So... I 
I mean, maybe I should have done this in my upkeep. Maybe I should have. I think so. First FNM in 15 years. You were six cards shy of the deck. Went to the LGS. They uh, see if they sold singles and was put off by the staff's attitude. Oh man, that that's horrible. Um, man, to just yeah, a bad attitude from that's horrible. Um. I've always had, you know, pretty good experiences with LGSs and stuff, so that's... I, I hate that you had a, a bad experience from a, a local gaming store. Okay, um... I think I need another black source. I've, if I need more blue, I can always go, go get that. Alright, so he's gonna get red. I wonder how many red sources he has. He didn't get another red source. All right, so he only has the one mountain. I don't know if that'll help me or not, but we're gonna try. Right where they have to compete with one another. Um, I was too, living in Phoenix. Uh, here, my l nearest LGS is uh, quite a distance from, from here. Uh, it's gonna be about a 40 minute drive to get to a game, to get to an FNM, so I don't know if I'm gonna be playing F and M in paper or not, uh, which kind of saddens me. But uh, maybe we'll we'll do a, an arena night or something like that. All right, so he's got torrential and supreme will. I'll try to keep up with this. Um, this is kind of new to me. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and flat out say that I adopted this from Jim Davis. I like it, so I'm going to keep doing it. Um, and if I can get used to to it, it will help me remember what's in his hand. But we are taking damage now, so this has started. We do need to uh, to start ripping threats, and fortunately, he uh, he has plenty of answers. Um, he will easily answer this. Okay, torrential. He's just going to glimmer. Okay. Then I'm going to cartouche and kill the flyer. Or do I cartouche and... Okay, he's going to go ahead and make another flyer. If I would have put him one here, he wouldn't have been able to swing with it. But, if I would have put one here next turn, if I live... But, I just, I just don't see this living. So, I wanted to try to get as much value as I could out of it. Uh, well, he did get another red source. I wasn't exactly happy about that. Okay. Uh, we are taking some damage. Ooh, Drowned Catacomb. So, we will attack... Just in case he can, like, harness lightning, make extra energy, make another blocker. We'll see if we can just remove that or make him make the play now. Not that it would really matter if he made the play now. I mean, at this point, we, we have no interaction. We're not completely dead here. We are going to take uh, quite a bit of damage on the, the backswing. He does still have Supreme Will. Just kind of hanging on to this card right now because he doesn't know what we have in hand and we have plenty of land. 
even grasping dunes off the top wouldn't be bad. Assuming that I can get into combat. Wow. I mean, he's just... He's diving through the, uh, the lands here. He's almost got me beat here, though. <clears throat> Why not on the Gear Hulk? Um... Maybe it should have been on the Gear Hulk. Like, maybe it really should have. Because at this point, I'm just dead. He no longer has the Supreme Will? Okay. Well, all land. Hope he doesn't hit a kill spell. We get to live one more turn, and it doesn't actually save us. Because at that point, I would need to, to have back to back blockers for. that wouldn't. that would have to gain life. Yeah, we're dead. I don't think we have an out here. What would be the out? Ooh, a Varoska's Contempt. Okay. All right, game three. Here we go, game three. All right, we're on the play. Curious Obsessions coming back in. Uh, Rune Raiders coming back in. I want to be aggressive. I think I'll actually take out one Drown. Warcrank Marauder is good here, though. Uh, maybe I don't need the negate. Like maybe, maybe negate is more. I, right, I'll back off one negate here. Maybe three negates against like approach or something. But I think uh, on the play here, I wanna. I want to make sure that I'm looking at his hand to make sure like I can I can pull things out. But um, I'm not a hundred percent worried about getting into uh, the later game. I want to stay like very cheap. Do I bring in the other march over another negate and just say, hey, I'm just going to keep... Yeah, I think I think I do want to do that on the play. I still want to... Maybe two duress, two negate? I kind of like that better. Like kind of splitting my options. Sometimes I can peek. I mean, I can also peek with, um, with uh, Kite Self Rebooters, so that's an option. Hmm... 2-2 two, two split. Okay. All right. 2-2 two, two split. Okay. Here we go. Let's submit and let's see what happens. I know. Liliana of the Veil. Vale. Well, that's in a stride, man. Uh, no, no, no. We don't have the land. I'm going to mulligan. Okay. This is good. Uh, I can't, like, get this in as early as I want, but I like what I've got coming here. Because turn three, you can play a Siren Storm Tamer and pay for the, uh, the do well, I would need to get a land to do that, but, uh, yeah. I think we can get away with this. Might even play Siren Storm Tamer next turn, depending on, uh, if I top deck a, uh, colored source. Um, all right. If I don't top deck a colored source, I might just have to wait. I mean, he does have a lot of mag magma sprays. Dark Confidant. Well, yeah, uh, we have Dark Confidant. Uh, kind of Dark Confidant, but we have it. Yeah, we, we definitely have Dark Confidant in the deck. Oh, come on. Island or... Never mind. At least he's just burning it. Uh, it's not getting exiled, which is great. Ooh. See, it would have happened, too. It would have happened. I'm going to hang on to this. And I'm going to try to... 
Trying to stall him here. So we make him spend a turn to Sweltering Suns. How does Sweltering Suns to each creature? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take... I'm going to take Suns and make him dig for an answer. I can always sack this to protect the kite cell to keep the suns away. And then I can pull back the Fathom Fleet and um, the Fathom Fleet and the Siren Storm Tamer for one black. And then replay Siren Storm Tamer. But then I wouldn't be able to hold up the, the counter, but I need another blue source or another split lamp. Uh, Drowned Catacombs would actually be a really good card to draw. What's up, Chris? How you doing, sir? Well, we knew he would glimmer. All right. Um, let's see. He played the island. We have the suns. He played the glimmer. Ooh, nice. A supreme will or an angrath. All right, so... We know he has... I think we do. I mean, we could counter him trying to take our our um, creature if he wanted to tick down, but I don't want him to tick up. So I'm gonna take the Angrath And make him still like keep using mana to draw for an answer. And we'll finally get to start doing a little bit of crashing. Might be playing Blood Moon and I'm done for. You're right, you're right. I need some fetch lands, go get some uh, some basics. That's what's up. You know this is a standard channel, right? Uh it's good to be back. Ooh, look at that. I can't swing. Let's see if he'll fire one off. I'd love for him to go ahead and spend one. Doesn't look like he's going to. It's the only safe attack I had. I, I can't let him have these back. So, here we are. And now he has used the Whirler. I mean, yeah, he's got a safe attack. He has eight. He's almost up to three Thopters. Okay, so what does this do for me? Do we let him spend a turn? No, because I can't bring back the guys and... Alright, so we just keep swinging with what's safe. Alright, he is going to fire them off. Okay. All right, we will definitely make trades. Return 
a Storm Tamer, and a Fathom Fleet Captain. Supreme Will here or Glimmer? I a Veroska's Contempt. Okay. Okay. Well. All right. Well, that's that's what we have. Alright, so here comes Angrath and his big bull of a self. Oh, it's each opponent. Hmm. Alright. Got me. We do need a draw engine here. I mean, that's decent, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Did catch him down though. All right, so we'll attack Angrath. So if he ticks it down, I'll trade Storm Tamer for it. Do have to worry about another Sweltering Suns, but <laughs> Zaxadillo, if you're here, man. I know you called for the gas can, but I thought about changing the gas can to a ham. Oh, did I just... I let him have it, didn't I? I did. Um... I think I need to draw a card and definitely force his hand on on the Fathom Fleet here. That's horrible. I uh, I definitely punted right there. Yeah, I was gonna change the uh, the gas can to like ham, you know, going going ham on somebody. Okay, well, let's go ahead and cycle now. Another dunes. Well, he may not even use it now. He's actually beating us in the race here. Whirler. Just doing work. I am going to go ahead and start minimizing a little bit of damage here. All right, we, we know one card in his hand, and that is the Supreme Will. Torrential Gear Hulk. Well. He'll glimmer again. Not looking good. Yeah, it was definitely a punt. Definitely a punt. Man, should have never let him get that. But, again, he hasn't used the Sweltering Suns yet, and he is thoroughly putting a thrashing on me. <clears throat> hey, that's not bad. Is it Kite Cell, Kite Cell, or Kite Cell Fathom Fleet? Or is it Storm Tamer? I think it's Fathom Fleet Kite Cell. But it'll still be a turn before I can do anything. No cryptic command. I know, I know. This is not modern.
Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and spend my mana that turn. I really wish I had another black source. Where's our Workite Marauders? Do I take the six and then I have to start blocking? Maybe not. So we can turn this guy completely off, but he still has... Uh, we can't swing. We only gain two. We go back to six. We would take five, six, seven, eight. No blocker. I think I have to play a blocker. Maybe I should have left open a counter to, to minimize damage, you know. Um... Yeah, I, I think the uh, I think we're just kind of I think we're just kind of beat here. Maybe not. Yeah, that's definitely gonna that's definitely gonna sure it up because now we can only block one thing. Yes, we would have been able to see one more card, but no, I don't. But I really needed another black source there so I could do all the things. Drawing that many colorless lands hurt. So, again, um, like we have the maximum amount of colorless lands that that the uh, the deck can really support. I wanted Scavenger Grounds, man. I, I really wanted Scavenger Grounds in this deck, but eventually I just had to cut it. Man, I love this hand. We're gonna, we're definitely gonna go for it. Yeah, I mean, we're we're going to to turn four. If we're gonna. Probably try the Fathom Fleet into Fathom Fleet. Ooh, no. No, we will not. So... Okay, so I'm gonna go kite sail and see what's going on. He's gonna magma spray. And we see his hand and G. A braid, rekindling phoenix, PNLR, glory bringer, rekindling phoenix. Wow. Okay. Okay. I need to get I need to get to rolling ASAP. So he will abrade this. Okay, well, um, that was his, that was his kill spell, so our braid is gone. Now he's got Pia Nalar, Glorybringer, so we're probably going to see Pia here if he didn't draw a land, and Phoenix, Phoenix. Alright, we can actually have four mana here. I think I only need three, though. So... I want to Fathom Fleet. And... It's not the dreamiest of situations, 
but I am going to yeah I'm, I'm gonna play the fetid pools to leave myself up mana to maybe cast something and oh nice that'll deal with a phoenix all right So, uh, yeah, if he gets his land, we'll see Phoenix. Oh, wow. All right. I mean, he's got five cards in hand. I know Phoenix, Glorybringer, Phoenix. Watery Grave, Fetty Pool. Right. <clears throat> Watery Grave greater than Fetty Pool. Understood. So we will play our land. Does he block? Like, do we care? We get another Menace Dude? I think I'm going to pay it. So, I mean, if I make one dude out of it, he's he's done his job. Okay, he's going to keep me from drawing a card. That's great. That is terrific. Alright, um, so we're going to take the board presence, board state. Still no land. He's getting aggressive. Maybe he does have the land. No land. Sweltering Suns, maybe. Oh, a P just another Pia. Alright, just another Pia. Like, that's no big deal. That's going to be nice. And we're going to get rid of the flyer. Again, I am willing to trade my Fathom Fleet. We're going to say yes. I'm actually probably going to uh, shuffle his deck. He hasn't drawn a, car, a land in a while. And I figure he's probably getting really uh, close to being able to, uh, to shuffle. Well, we'll kill Pila so he can't pump. And he'll take some damage. We'll see if he gets the land. Oh, wow, he did not. Again, I assume he's getting the land here very soon. Tony Robbins, thank you. Thank you very much for subscribing. Okay. Um, I'm going to get just, I don't know, another swamp. What? I have a speaker problem. Wow, what is that? Yikes. I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but wow. I think we're good here. He gets a land and has to cycle it. Um okay. I'll I'll take that. Uh was it Tony Robbins? Was did, did I get it wrong? Oh no, did, did I say it wrong? Thank you, Jose. Thank you very much, sir. Was it Euro? What is that symbol? Is that Euros? I I always get the the foreign symbols uh, mixed up. Where are you watching from there, Jose? Hey, 
Yeah, Tony Robbins. Thank you, thank you for the uh, donation there, Jose. Uh, Spain. Uh, I was in Rota and Palma for a little while when we were on the Mew. Um, man, I uh, I actually had a. Uh, these like fried vegetables while I was there. It was great. Anyway, how are we how are we gonna sideboard against this deck? Maybe more moment of cravings. I don't think I want duress. Uh, Curious obsession is gonna be good. Hostage takers kind of good against the phoenix. Like if you can kill the phoenix and then hostage taker it. Um, but I. I think I want the Scarab God in this matchup. Glory Bringers, things like that. So I think I want the Scarab God. Rune Raider might be a little bit volatile. So I'm going to take, uh, probably going to take all the Rune Raiders out. He's got some removal, so um, maybe a March. Yeah, we'll go this route. I, I would bring in more, but this red black aggro deck, I, I mean, I'm not for sure that he's not Grixis or red black mid range. I'm not sure that he's not Grixis. He, he just had a bad pull, so. You're not the only European. Oh man, we've got um, we've got uh, people from Australia, New Zealand, Brazil. Uh, shout, like shout outs everywhere, man. It, it, the, the community is growing huge. People from all over the world. It it, it amazes me, and and I thank you all for it. All right. We're going to keep this hand. Uh, yeah, sure. Another pirate. That's uh, exactly what I wanted is just more threats. So... I wonder what threat we should line up with. Maybe the kite cell. Take a look at his hand. Get him to go ahead and spend a kill spell if, necess if he can. Um, but I really want the Fathom Fleet out. I think I need to lead off with the Kite Cell. Alright, so he's got Doomfall. And Varaska's Contempt. Well, I'm going to take the cheaper one and make him use the more expensive one to get this back. And hopefully, um, by the time he can get back a Doomfall, um... Like, spinning of Rusk's Contempt on that, that Kite Cell is not bad. Oh, this will be decent. And I'm going to go ahead and start chipping in. Let's pull this up. He's got six cards in hand that we know about. Or that we, uh, we don't know about them. Played the Dragon Skull, I believe. Hmm, I'm not sure if this is the same Dragon Skull. I think it is. He played it on turn three, I know. Yeah, he, that's the Dragon Skull. Oh man, I'm a huge fan of Fathom Fleet Captain, but um, it's he, he's really hard to play with. Main board them them polluted. <laughs> You want me to play modern, don't you? That's what it is. It's a play modern. You know what? We might have to do that. Like, with my my F and M kind of being out of the out of the question, at least for a little bit. Um, apparently, they're not firing. And if I can get some friends and stuff back into playing Magic, where I'm going to be trying to get up there, it's kind of one of the reasons I got my judges test. Um, so I'm a level one judge now. By the way. Yeah, like, uh, I think it's two Wednesdays ago, I uh, passed my level one judges test, so I am now a uh, level one judge. That's, uh, I'm, I'm excited about that, so hopefully we can get the FNM firing here in this neighborhood, and I can, uh, you know, be a judge. Like, go, like, help, help things, uh, you know, get started there. But yeah, um, that's the plan anyway. Let's attack. If we get... Oh, he's going to kill it. He's going to Varaska's Contempt that. Oh, man, that's so epic.
do I work item run? No. I just play another Fathom Fleet and pass. All right, well, he used the... Um, all right, he played a Dragon Skull. Oh, we got a couple people from Spain. Mm, he's getting aggressive. Don't have, don't have the sons. Don't have sons. I think if he had sons, we would have just seen it, right? Another contempt. Hour of glory. Oh, that is so wicked. Okay. All right. Well, I mean... Jeez. James Bond. Bond. James Bond. Well, you've got the license. Uh, and thank you. Thank you guys for the congratulations on uh, uh, passing the judges test. I'm, uh, I was excited to do it. I, it was something I'd been wanting to do back when I was uh, playing Magic here in Mississippi, but there was just not uh, enough. There were just not enough. Um, wow. All right. Well, we're going to kill Pia. There was just not enough level two judges around to administer the test or to you know get enough studying in or anything like that. Did, is he still holding on to a canyon slew? All right, so that will deal with Pia. I think he's still holding on to this, but yeah, there, um, yeah, there just wasn't enough around. So I was like, while I'm in in uh, Phoenix, where there's you know four million people, there's a ton of judges. I might as well make use of that. So I did. Well, this is not going to be. I guess top decking a march would be really good right now, right? I mean, we can counter Glorybringer, but that ain't great. So, whatever we get this turn, we could play it. Maybe, all right, well, there's a Phoenix. Freebooter. <laughs> of course. Of course, of course. Yeah, we're, we're, we're pretty much uh, pretty stomped here. And he Chandra's. Glorybringer, Phoenix, Chandra. I think, I think it's safe to go ahead and scoop. We've got zero cards in hand. Yeah, yeah. Wow. All right. Um, we definitely want to keep our threats up. Maybe against this deck, I do risk it. I do go for the the Rune Raiders. Say, hey, we're doing this. I, that that's the biggest body I can throw down is a three two. Put a cartouche on that and go to work. I think that's where we want to be. Yeah. Um. Maybe I should have took it. Oh, I ran 62 cards. What am I doing? It might work out. Oh, no. No creatures. No creatures. No threats. Oh, man. If he kept a... Yeah. I mean, we've got good stuff, but no threats. Hmm. Man, this hand. It makes me want to cycle on two. 
to see if I can get. I mean, we got some. We've got good answers. I'm gonna keep it because like we can deal with a phoenix. We do need a work hype marauder or something like that, but I definitely need a threat. Like, um, I'm just gonna go with the island. Well, thank you, Luke. I appreciate that, sir. I um, I I did have to take a little bit of a, a break here to to move across country, but um, everything's set up. We're good now, and we should be able to to get back into action. And I, I should be able to bring more of this content that you you all seem to love. And thank you all for that. I I honestly mean that. Like I'm I'm glad that the community has become what it is. It's it's great. It is um. Uh, yeah, it's great to be part of it. Okay, what? We're going to cycle. Because we have a ton of land and we need threats. Well, that is a threat. That is definitely a threat. I mean, he's got like Hour of Glory, Veraska's Contempt, Doomfall. <laughs> This is this is not going to be much of a threat, but it's a threat. Derek Anderson, thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Well, there goes the Scarab God. Yeah, I need more card pool. Well... <laughs> we need a creature that can live can I tell freebooter it would be great I don't know rune raider wouldn't be bad either it's great to see cards actually interact with many different situations, and it's much appreciated. Well, I'm glad you like it. I uh, that was kind of the point. I'm not the the greatest player in the world, but um, you know, I was always part of that group that stands out in front of your magic shop or stands over in the corner of your magic shop or whatever that that just talks about these what if situations and stuff like that. There's one at like every LGS, but. I was always part of, you know, those people that were just, like, always trying to dig into the game. And people would always go, hey, how would this work? Or how does this interaction happen? There's a kite cell. All right, let's see what we're looking at here. I'll take the abrade. I don't think I Curious Obsession here. If I do, it lets me... Alright, so if I Curious Obsession here, it means that he has to... Um... Alright, so I took a braid. It means that he has to use the, the Sweltering Suns or the Veraska's Contempt to deal with this. And that'll be his whole turn. What? I thought it was the turn that it comes in. I thought you the turn that it comes in, you were, if it was not, oh my goodness, that was a, that was a huge punt, huge punt. Does he just pass turn? And he played his scavenger grounds. Alright, so now that we are out of out of sweltering sun range. Well not necessarily. I I I thought this was a card that said it, unless it was the turn that it came in. I need to read my cards more often. Wow. It's the first time I've had the, the interaction where I didn't swing, but yeah, we can do this. Is 
This seems bad, but I mean, if he Roscoe's contempts here. When we get to, we take his contempt. I gain two life. That's kind of horrible. He spends his next turn. Um, we do kill the Thopter. Just waiting on cards, like not having threats to deploy these enchantments, has just put us into this like awkward, awkward play. And it's just I, it's it doesn't line up really well against this. And if I hadn't have made the mistake with the, uh, we would have had a four four toughness creature there. Yep, that would have been a thing. You know what? No, no, no. And I'm just going to hang on to my land. So, Sweltering Suns is gone. And now Canyon Slough is gone. We no longer know what card, the four cards he has in hand. Do you think it could, uh, you could do a budget meal deck with Fraying Sandy and Fleet Swallower? Um, <laughs> Swallower. Um, I've already, I've only been home for, for a week. Swallower. Um, probably. In all reality, yeah, you probably could. Um, right now, GPG is not a very expensive card. Uh, you're going to want a GPG in that deck. Uh, the most expensive card in that deck, or the best upgrade, would be like adding Search for Escanta in it. But I definitely think you could do a Refurbished Fleet Swallower, uh, or Refurbished GPG in the Fleet Swallower mill deck. Uh, it worked really well with Fraying Sanity on turn three, so... Alright, well, I think our opponent's got us right here. This is a lot of, uh... Oh man. And now we don't have... Yeah. Fling! wonder where Rush is. Ah, uh, I don't know. Well, at least this is a card. I think I need to thin my deck at the end of his turn here. I assume that this is just dead. Yep. Yep. Rush was going on a road trip. Okay. Well, I'm gonna die to die to her. Mm, sure, we'll pop the arch. Come on, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Hey, that's pretty decent. It's not going to matter right here, though. I mean, I doubt he's going to tick it down, but all he has to do is, like, ultimate and cast anything. Yep. Be one hard fight from here. Okay, so he shoots me for five. Takes my fatal push. He's 
Bard's gonna swing, put... Um, is he cycling it? Oh, he's just... Oh, he wiped the board. I'm gonna play it out here because he could hit runner runner land and we could get a cartouche and start coming back you know in two turns I guess I mean if anything's gonna start pushing damage this is it but nah, he's got spells to cast yeah yeah. That's gonna be all she wrote. No! Any spell off the top. Any spell. <laughs> that was a pretty good one. Pretty good one. Wow, I mean, Pirates has not done as well as I had hoped it had. Uh, Alright, well. Let's get into game three. Yeah, that, that, ouch, wow. It just did not line up against all of the heavy removal, heavy targeted removal decks. Ouch. It's, uh, it's unfortunate. I get it, I get it. Grixis is big. Mm, all right, well, hopefully we'll get another opponent here. We'll get into another game. Andrew. They're, they're knocking on you hard there, man. Uh, Nicholas Knox, thank you for subscribing. The uh, I, I, your your health total is already. That's that's awesome to see that uh, we've gotten enough interaction today to uh, to see the uh, the boss get fault. <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty cool. All right, Rune Raider, Fathom Fleet, Storm. Man, this thing just needs more islands. I'm going to keep, though. Going to keep. Yeah, Pirates is all about tempo, and we do lose that tempo fairly easily. It's not great, but we do lose that tempo. I kind of want a Storm Tamer on three. But I need, what, another untapped black or blue source to do so? So I need an island or swamp? Mm, that ain't gonna do it. That ain't gonna do it. Um, at least we can start drawing cards this direction. So we, if he doesn't kill this, I'll just swing with it and then Rune Raider. Now that I have this. Fatal push. You got me. Um, so now I will actually play the, the other colored source. The opponent asked if I was 0-2 as well. Search. Well, that's pretty decent. Mm. So we can go land. Curious obsession. Attack. Yes, we want to draw a card. Play Ruin Raider, which is our Bob. Draw another card, take two life for our Warcraft Marauder. He will get to, to look at it. I can't do much about it until after it flips, but if he flips it, then... Uh, then we can we can do things from there. Ooh, he's cycling. Keep cycling, opponent. Keep cycling. My siren storm tamer is going to do good things. 
along with his buddy. Ooh. Uh, let's do that. What are we working with? So he's got four mana. He's got his fifth mana. So we take the Veraska's Contempt. And then he needs to play Gear Hulk to kill to get Veraska's Contempt back. Okay. Then uh, we can play this. Play this. And do some damage. Sweet. This might line up. And we will. Oh, nice. So he's got five cards in hand. We just took the Veraska's Contempt out. He played the Aether Hub. So he's got Torrential Gear Hulk and the Scarab God. And he cannot play them. We're going to go into. We're going to go in the sideboard. Uh, Warcrack Marauder is the reason he was holding Torrential Gear Hulk and the Scarab God. And it was just not going to be good enough. Um, Grasping Dunes, Warkite. It's a thing. Um, works great against the Scarab God decks. But we were running into red, black control <laughs> just a bunch of kill spells um which is is cool i mean they if those decks are exiling everything they don't even care if it if it dies or not um they're not even worried about the scarab god okay uh he is definitely a control deck i'll take out the fatal push and bring in duress and then i think that's it uh, I don't. I don't think I want to make any other change. I think I'm just going to run it like that. Got to protect the captain. I wasn't so worried about the captain in that game, uh, but uh, we we had a we had a good run right there. That was that was decent. That was kind of where I wanted to be. Um, I'm going to keep this. All right. Well, now we're gonna have color. That's gonna be great. Let's uh, let's set some of this stuff off. Now, the biggest question for me here is, do I? Oh my goodness, is he digging for mana? He can't be digging for land. He can't be digging for land. Did was he? You know what? We're going for it. We are going for it. Have Fatal Push. You have to have Fatal Push. Oh, he did not. All right. Uh, I like it. So, let's see what he does have. Wow. All right. Um... So, Essence Scatter, Golden Demise, Doomfall. I kind of think that I need to take the Golden Demise here. I don't want to get completely wiped out. And I don't have the mana here. If he doesn't hit a land, then we're pretty, pretty golden. Like, I don't... Yeah... At that point, I can just sit back on Lookout's Dispersal. So, yep. There he goes. He didn't hit a land. Yeah, that, that game... That that went really, really quick. Oh, man. That was pretty good. I, I That was... Whoa, what happened? OBS... Yes, we will join. Can we win out here? Go three and two after losing the first two? We'll see. Two more matches. We will find out. Hopefully. There's a good green ramp deck that uh, you've been drawing and just come, come up short.
Well, this seems like the hand of our dreams. I wouldn't like... I'd rather have one of these fetid pools be, you know, like a grasping dunes or something, but... Alright, we're against green black. And more fetid pool. Okay. Lana War is back. Oh my goodness, you are so right. Lana War is going to change the face of everything. I'm so happy it's back. Oh man. Oh man, is this the green black mastermind deck? Yeah, we're going to go this route. It is a... What? Wayward Swordtooth. Tetsumok. It's that kind of deck. Alright. Well. That's interesting. I really wish I would have played Fathom Fleet Captain now. I don't think it's going to matter here, though. I would have been one more point of damage. Needs the city's blessing before that works. All right. We'll get this fetid pool down. And chip in for one. Now, next turn, I'll be able to make a dude and keep up Lookout's Dispersal. Um, commune, okay. So, we'll go look for a dino. Is this a dinosaur? It is a dinosaur. Okay. An Energy Hadana's Climb build that goes off. Uh, just need a sideboard. Okay. Uh, Hadana's Climb with Energy. Like, green-black, green, or Sultai, like, I know it's got the, the green-blue in it, but, like, what is the, uh, the rest of the, uh, the, the deck? Oh, yes, if I wanted to build a, an aggressive Pirates deck, I definitely could have done that, um... Okay, so I think I want to Warkite Marauder and make a dude. He doesn't have any shenanigan. he's, shenanigans he's going to pull this turn. Uh, he's played Haship, Haship, and the Foul Orchard. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I'll wait. This way I can kill. You know what? I'm actually okay with Tetsumok. He hasn't used... Yeah, we're going to go ahead and, and go wide here. If he land, goes land Tetsumok next turn... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... That would be... It'd be, uh... Yeah, we'd have to start killing things. But Grasping Dunes will do work. What? Four Bristling Height? Yeah, we'll show this. Four Bristling Hydras. Islands Forest. Uh, Haship Oasis. Aether Hubs. Uh, okay, he's going to search for a land. So I assume this turn he's going to actually like play the land and then put up some counters, like all blo oh just treasure maps. Okay, so he's going to punch me for eight here. I'll take it. Um, you're running... Okay, you're running Greenbelt, Rampager, Electrostatic Pummeler, Murderer, Skier Hulk. Okay. Sage of Sahili's Claim. Oh, I'm not sure I know that card. We know he has a Tetsamon. 
And he's still not revealing Tetsamon. I don't get it. So, Grasping Dunes is good here. Like, do we <laughs> take one of his things? Um... I'm actually just going to get rid of the 5-5. Five, five. I mean, he might have Fatal Push. I kind of doubt it. And this will... Kill that guy. And he does have the mana to cast Tetsamok, so I'm just going to say no. And then if he doesn't cast something worth countering, I'll cycle at the end of turn. But at this point, I'm definitely just going to try to race him. So... Minister of Inquiries instead of uh, Sahil. Jan, what's up? Okay, so it's gonna kill the the Warkite Marauder here. Or he's gonna try to. I'm gonna I'm gonna counter it. Scoop. You know you want to just scoop on that opponent. Just scoop on it. All right. Well, no scoop. No fear either. The opponent's still just turning stuff sideways. He's like, I don't care. I don't care. Look at that. What a top deck. does not give trample so he's gonna scry one so he's gonna have all the mana in the world next turn and I think I'll just get a blue an island here And then we'll make a dude for a blocker. All right, so it doesn't really matter here. I can leave back Kite Cell because it's not going to change anything. Like, I can't kill him this turn. So leaving back one blocker just seems fine. And I don't actually have to spend anything out of my hand to create yet another blocker. And this will put him on uh, on a clock. So here we go. Just wanted to play a dino. <laughs> Poor guy. He just wanted to play a dino. He's like, I just wanted to play Tetsuma. Hi. Hostage Taker is great, but it's also, like, really volatile. I mean, like, the, when it's great, it is a complete blowout. But there's other times you'll play it and you'll just get completely blown out. I'm not going to block. If you can do 9 damage, opponent, you got me. Burn, burn. Do you have it? Yeah. You're secretly a red deck that you're casting off of treasures. Prey counter. He's going to wipe the board. Uh-oh. He's all going to wipe the board. 
He's gonna get to play his dinosaur. Wow. Nice. Awesome. That is so cool. Tetsumot. Just... Go Tetsumot, go. Go Tetsu, go Tetsu, go. <laughs> Sorry, that's a turtle. Is he a turtle? He could be a turtle. Prehistoric turtle? Hmm. It's almost like a Triceratops, too. I don't know. And a porcupine. Something else. And like a scorpion. He's almost got like a scorpion tail under there. Oh, Tessamok. Well, I want to see what's going on here first. I need to know exactly what's going on because I think I need to use this Kaisel Freebooter as a blocker. And depending on what he's got in hand, I might actually be able to do that. Like, I, I think the plan is to take the Tetsamok and then uh, we can go from there. It, it, that could change right here. All right. Um, so that's not a kill spell. So we will take Tetsamok. And now we can block a Haship Oasis that he... Now I can't reveal and get all of the counters and stuff like that from Tetsamok. But um, I can. I can cast it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I sure can. And we'll... But I can't, like, reveal it and get counters and stuff, so. If near Deadlands, does he have enough mana to sack it twice? One, two, three, four. Nope. Well, you can only tap it once, too, so. All right. All right, well, we might get somewhere here. If near Deadlands... Oh, he got me. Yeah, I didn't see that line. I didn't see that line. Good game. Good game. All right, so we need something that kills Tetsamok. So now he sacks one. This dude's big enough that I have to block because it's lethal. So he gets his Tetsamok back, and I don't kill him. So Hostage Taker is going to die here. We get one draw, and he'll have two creatures. Yeah, not where, not where I wanted that to go. Not at all where I wanted that to go. All right, well, uh, can't survive it. He can make both of them lethal. Uh, so, or he could just like remove the blocker. Um, okay. Wow. I want this, and I think Moment of Craving is gonna be good. Man, that Tetsamok, running it off the top, that was great. Uh, I said when I was looking at Tetsamok, what's up, James? Uh, I said when I was looking into Tetsamok, I actually felt better when I had more copies of it in the deck. And I know a lot of people have said, like, just one copy, but we've seen right there that one copy got to put on a counter, and then later he got to put on more counters and play another one. So, you know, dude did get to play his big dino. I'm, I'm, I'm actually really thrilled for him. That was, uh, that was pretty good. Uh, I'm going to take out Hostage Taker. I know he's got some, some cheap creatures. He's actually got some good artifacts to take. Maybe I should keep Hostage Taker. I think I'm going to take out Hostage Taker. Cartouche. I'm going to take one Cartouche out. Fatal Push wouldn't be too bad. Maybe one Fatal Push. Just cut down on the numbers just a little bit. And then uh, I'm just going to run it back like this. Uh, we've got Storm Tamer. Oh, yeah, I'm keeping this. Might not get this Rune Raider down when we want it, but we should be able to, to do okay with the Storm Tamer drawing cards. A, a Kite Freebooter would be so good to, to put with this, but um, I'm going to take the Storm Tamer route. I mean, this is this is better than Glint Sleeve Siphoner as far as the combo. Uh, but 
I mean, you have to have two cards to make that. So, so last time you played F and M, Nemesis was the newest set. Wow, Andrew. That was an answer to a question I asked like an hour ago. Um. Nemesis. Wow. Wow. That's a long time ago. Sorry, you had to drive home from work. Understood. Well, arrive alive. Absolutely. 100%. Uh, here we go. Do you have the push? All right. Well, we got blown out. Got blown out. Okay. Play my lands and pass. Yeah, I um, I, I guess I'm just gonna have to f and m with you guys for a little while until I um, I get exactly what I'm, until I can find exactly what I'm looking for here with uh with f and m, you know. Like, I I'm hoping that we can get enough people to actually get our uh, Friday night magic firing and stuff. Uh, I need to call back up there again here soon and and find out. Wow, Cartouche. Look at him. I like that card. Or Trial. This is all we can do is just keep playing a threat and waiting for him to answer it. So, uh, one threat a, a, a turn is not where we want to be. What's up, Rush? Uh, the move went pretty well. Uh, we're, we're doing all right. I, uh, I was happy that the move did go as smoothly as it did. Um, so, yeah. Um, pretty, um, pretty, pretty excited to be home. You know, with uh, the military and then working in the factories and things like that, I, I was just kind of, I was all over the place anyway, and it, it's finally nice to actually be back, you know, near home. Oh, that's it. The rush it is here. Does he not have another blocker? Please don't have another blocker. And please don't kill my my dude. Okay, that's currently not a blocker. But it will be. That'll help. Alright, well, that'll help. And... I tapped to Did I not? There we go. And now we just have to race him. Start with the value train. Absolutely. Smash that like button. Smash that sponsor button. Uh, I think I counter this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Land, counter whatever else he plays. Okay, I'm going to let him have it. Seems bad, but we're going to try it. We're going to try it. Any $300 lamp can... <laughs> I think, like, any $300 laptop. Alright, I've I seen that as $300 lamp can play MTGO. Lamp's, lamp, lamp was only 50. Uh, Alright, we take our beats. 
Again, next turn I have to like counter just whatever he does. Okay. Um, well, we're definitely providing pressure here. That happened. Another non-token vampire. Or pirate vampire. Ah. Um, you're buying a laptop, so you can play MTGO and Arena, but you need help finding a rigid laptop um, oh finding the right laptop oh uh, wow I don't I don't know what to to technically advertise for um, I I have played magic on everything from a cheap you know Walmart computer to you know refurbished computers that you buy from after aftermarket uh, Sweet! This was a terrific counter. That is that's exactly what we were looking for. But yeah, like you can get a, a Surface Pro or, or something like that. You're um, you're not gonna have a lot of problems um, with playing Magic Online. Like no lie, Rich here travels a lot, and he plays Magic because he like on his travels. So, uh, ooh. I'm playing this like pre-combat so that I can I can uh, draw a card, but that might just get me killed. I'll make another blocker here. And how much damage do we take? Come on, Bob. Can I tell Freebooter? That ain't bad. That's two damage. So he... Oh, he can't even if near. But yeah, uh, Rich travels a lot. And he, uh, you know, he's got a... I assume he's got a laptop that he's using. So, uh, yeah, if you want to play Magic Online or Arena. I mean, now that Arena's out. My wife was playing some Arena today. Playing around with it. You know, kind of getting used to it and stuff. And uh, because Arena's all about questing, she's uh, she's kind of all about that. Oh no! Blowout. One life. And then he swings for lethal. Wow. Wow. I'm going to play this last one here, but yeah. Oh man. Golden Demise. The next turn, too, we would have been able to. Man. We wouldn't have been able to do anything. That, that was what he was setting up for the whole time. Wow. Face palm. You didn't know he had golden demise. Don't even tell me you've seen it coming. Alba, you would assume just uh, make sure it uh, has an i5 processor or better. Yeah, like there's a there's a there's a bunch of good good computers you can run. Uh, but yeah, talking about uh, Arena, you know, Val was like, okay, Arena looks like it's more about questing. So she's like, I don't know if people would be mad at me or or not because if it's about questing, then it's about time efficiency. We're not necessarily of seeing the game through and and playing it all the way out to, to the end, but hey, I need to cast this spell, this spell, this many spells, and cast, 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 eh, yep, I can see, you know, uh, that sort of thing. She's like, I don't know if people would really want to watch that, but that's how you would grind that game out. And uh, I, actually, I actually told her, I said, I think people would love to watch you, like, grind um, your know, arena out and, and, you know, show people how to, how to, to efficiently go through that type of game because just as much as you know like fighting the clock is different here on magic online than it is in paper 
playing arena is going to be just as as different as well so um i uh, i thought it was pretty interesting i'm going to keep this take care luke Uh, but anyway, so yeah, um, you know, she was uh, she was talking about you know running uh, some arena and it's is it still closed beta? Um, I mean, we we've had the uh, the arena for a while now. I mean, I I was playing it today. Uh, I went in, I opened the packs and everything. Um, okay, so we're what are we against approach here? So what I want to do, draw as many cards as possible. So if I don't hit a land, then... Kaito? I did hit a land, though. Yeah. Man, like, do I want to try to draw a card here? I'd rather put it on anything other than... than the card that is meant to be sacrificed. Wow. Um, okay, so... I'm going to take Refurbish. Wow. Um, yeah. Alright, so I took Refurbish. He's going to cycle the cast out. Like, the one thing that could get his Refurbish back. Mm, okay. And then, next turn, what do I do? So, he will be fighting hard to get rid of... Or maybe he'll just have to play around it. Like, does he even have anything main board that can remove this other than the card he just cycled? Maybe we just need to go ham. Get the gas cans ready. Yeah, we're, we're going to try to go as hard as possible here. Oh, that'll be decent. I think I want to draw this direction because it's also going to put more damage on. And then I can always just uh, play uh, the, the cartouche. Or not the cartouche, but the uh, the Warkite Marauder here. We'd love to use the ability and get that extra land. And then uh, Marauder. Marauder Topolino. Anybody gets that reference? Oh man, there's no way you guys will get that reference. It's, uh, I probably even said it wrong, but it's uh, it's a Dritt Stillwarden reference. Am I playing more later? I am. I absolutely am. There's going to be... Um, it, it's my 9 o'clock, so my new schedule is I'm going to be streaming. Uh, my, my midday shows are going to be... Um, it, 2 o'clock is now my 4 o'clock. And uh, 7 o'clock is now my 9 o'clock, so I'll be streaming during prime time, and I'll be streaming uh, midday here like this. Um, tonight is actually going to be uh, a makeup night of of the um, the Patreon games that I didn't get to do this weekend. And um, so I'm going to do that tonight, and then uh, tomorrow, uh, kind of like we did here, I'm going to be doing um, the Dinos League, or, or Merfolk. I'm, okay, so I recorded the dinos, and I have a league of the dinos. I went two and three, and should have been four and one. I butchered those. I ain't even gonna hide it. I butchered those dick those decks so bad. I was like, I can't post this. I just can't. They will rip me apart. I will. I will die in the comments. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I um. Yeah, we're gonna we're going for everything here, I guess. But uh, anyway, yeah, I uh, decided that I was going to to do that. What about Subscriber Sunday? We will get it. We, I will, I will get everything made up. I know, I know. Maybe I should have said, hey, look, I just can't do it. But I like to play Magic, and I don't know. I just kind of feel that I would to the the community to make sure I get that that content back. Let's, uh, let's take away Minister's ability for a moment. Ooh, a grasping dunes. So, do I want to draw more cards? Probably. Um, 
Um, he's just wanting to play his angel next turn. So, oh man. That's pretty good. Mill. Champion of Wits. Did he get a land? Did he get a refurbish? No, he did not. He doesn't even have a God Pharaoh's gift in the grave. Are we going to get away with this? Oh my goodness. This could happen. No way. So I just keep up the lookouts dispersal next turn and then we're just like gold from there? I don't think so. I think Am I gonna? I am going to redo Dinos Live, James, uh, tomorrow at four, four, four Central, um, which was my old two o'clock, which means I need to redo my my schedule. But um, the move, the move actually worked really well for my family because, like, now we can. You know what? I'm going to grasping dunes here. Then I'm going to kite sail. Because I want to see what he's got. Oh, man. That hurt. That hurt, opponent. So... Do we play around the top deck? Because he's got gla Glacial Fortress in hand. If... One, two, three, four, five. I think this is where I want to go with this. And now I don't have to worry about him doing any damage to me. Um, I mean, I'm just basically trying to be the pirate's tempo. Uh, so we're just gonna just swing for as much as possible. All right, and another curious obsession. So we're just gonna keep drawing cards. What does he mail? Another angel, minister, and a sacred cat. Well, he can bring back a cat. He's milling everything on his turn, so. Um, just leave up the counter. No. Nah, I, I wanted to just guarantee that the game was closed out right there. Um, I mean, just, again, remember at the beginning, like, it just, it didn't feel right when I was playing the deck earlier. Um, I don't know. I, I, I am losing with it, so maybe I should, maybe I should just play what I've got and, and play it as safe as possible. Duress is not exactly what I want, and the gate seems great. Uh, fatal push. I'm not worried about killing his dudes so much so as I am worried about stopping that graveyard. Um, I didn't actually run into any any um, God Pharaoh's Gibbs decks in testing, so this is going to prove to be a little. Yeah. Um, and I may need those Nick 1 1 counters here. It's kind of my only kill spell is the cartouche after. Maybe not. Um, maybe I want to, to throw away his uh, refurbishes and stuff, but then don't I just lose to the angels and stuff? Like, his sideboard plan right now is more than likely going to be like angel, um, the angels and the um, oh goodness. His sideboard plan is more than likely going to be angels and fairgrounds wardens. That's what they are. Right? Okay, if they reanimate Angel. Um, if, it depends on how they reanimate it. Like, if they reanimate it with the um, Eternalized, then, yeah, Fatal Push would be good. But if they reanimate it with the God Pharaoh's Gift, you know, all of the Angels cost, you know, five or more. So, uh, hmm. I kind of think maybe I'd just run it like this. Yeah, we'll, we'll try it, all right? We'll try it like this. Do I have the Mana Source? Drop Ruin? I don't know. I don't know about dropping Ruin Raider. He's just a lot of damage. No, push. Yeah, push doesn't work on GPG tokens. 
uh, because it's copying the entire card, it's uh, it copies converted mana cost. That's the simplest way to put it. Um, yeah, I, I really wish I had a an island to start out with here. Oh, thank you, deck. Thank you. Maybe we can um, play like Fathom Fleet and then just start going wide. There's an angel. All right, next turn is the turn that I have to kind of hit pump my brakes and just kind of ride on this negate. So he's going to get one more turn for setup. And I mean, that's all I've got right here is uh, play a captain, swing for one, and pass. Fairgrounds Warden could be a, a play here. Champion Wits. That's only one blocker. Alright, so I think the play this turn is going to be Swamp. Uh, unless I draw an island or something. And then um, Curious Obsession on, on the uh, Fathom Fleet. There's an Angel of Sanctions. Okay, that it's going to be six mana to bring back. Ooh, Ruin Raider. It's going to be a little while, fella. It's going to be a little while. Fortunately, I cannot go wide here. He doesn't have a God Pharaoh's Gift in the graveyard, though, so he's not going to be refurbishing this turn. So maybe I can go a little bit wider. Um... Maybe I should make a token here and go one more turn. Um, he doesn't have the God Pharaoh's Gift in the grave, so I don't think it's coming back this coming turn. So I am going to go ahead and make a body. I, I think I can get away with it this turn, and then next turn I, I'm pretty sure I have to... Another Curious Obsession. So... Yeah, this will be decent. It should be. Minister. Alright, so now he's got double blockers. Hmm, now we can work out Marauder and hold up the negate. So we have to be careful now because because he could just dump something off the top of his library. All right, I'm going to play this. I'm going to play this. This way I'm drawing cards either way. I'm going to say no and just start swinging. I mean, if he wants to put his minister in front of this as well, then that is okay. We'll just do... We'll kill them all. And we'll sit back on our... Okay, I'm good with this. We'll sit back on the gate and go from here. So is this uh, an Angel of Sanctions, or... I would love to get another Lookout's Dispersal in our hand. Fairgrounds Warden. Alright. What are you picking up? Okay. Um, he bought it. He bought it. He's got his strategic planning. Another champion of wits. He got his God Pharaoh's gift in the grave. 
We hit the Scarab God. I'm going to attack and then play Ruin Raider. I mean, he might block here. Wow, he did not block. And a Kite Sail Freebooter, that's nice. Okay. Wish I had Essence Scatter for protection right now. Alright. That's an Angel. And he makes some tutus. Work Kite Marauder will be decent here. Strategic planning, strategic planning. I want to swing, draw a card. Just don't think that I can. I have to wait. I can't swing, so I lose my Curious Obsession. Um, so, that's just where I'm at. What's up, SD? Alright, uh, strategic planning. I'm going to let him have it. I think the worst thing he can get right now would be land. Like, I just don't want him to keep hitting land drops, and he is. Okay. This is happening. I'm gonna take the two. Alright, well, now we can swing. Yeah, we can swing. Swing, swing, swing. Sure. Swing there, too. And we will remove the abilities. So, I mean, if he wants to put a bunch of tokens in front of this, that's cool. So a token and that. I'll kill the War Kite. Or kill the Fairgrounds Warden. Yeah, we'll just let that happen. And... Refurbish. Okay. He is one land off of bringing back I'll block So he has refurbished back in hand there's no way he cast it. Angel of Sanctions. Okay. Well, that's okay. That's definitely okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. We kill, what, one of these, we attack with that, but we still don't get any damage through. I think I just wait. What does he got? Four mana, is he going to refurbish? Negate. 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 That's why disallow is so much better. Ah, understood. I said Nagate. <laughs> 
Well... I mean... I don't get the work hype back. Like, so if I, if I make this lose all abilities, and then it dies, I don't think I get the, uh, the work hype back. Um... Yeah, we're just going to keep chipping in in the air. And pass the turn. Yeah, Disallow is a really good card. Uh, but it's the uh, the mana efficiency of this. So he's, he's going to bring it back. But that's not really a worry. Alright, so... Like, the fact that we're going to resolve with the Scarab God here is, uh, kind of, kind of game. Like, like, th this is, th this, we're going to untap with this. So, yeah, I mean, any, any argument is kind of, like, null and void, I think. I don't know, I could be wrong. Okay, well, I am going to do it. What do we want? We want a pirate? Nah. I want Angel. And he's going to scoop it up. Well, that was our league with pirates. Um, yeah, I'm with two and three. Not, uh, not the, the greatest thing. Um, by the way, I said the first live stream that I, that I was back on, I would crack those two chests that we had. Um, Z from the from the other leagues so well, let's jump over here we will we'll crack some chess uh, sealed product right isn't chess sealed product there they are so let's see what we have from our our leagues we get thoughts of rain each each player sacrifices a land for each card in your hand wow uh, Miss Glow Carol and Thrash of Raptors. Okay, well, all right. And then for the next one, we get Paleo Off. Paleo Off? What? Whenever another creature with power five or greater enters the battlefield under your t control, you may return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Wow. All right. And then a trial, and of course, onward to victory. Ah, <sighs> okay, all right. Either way, that was our Pirates deck, guys. I hope you all uh, enjoyed the deck. There's a lot of different ways you can run Pirates. Uh, if you wanted to go more aggressive, I actually think that the red-black deck that uh, that Dev did in his Double Pirates, uh, that was one of the better, uh, better versions of an aggressive Pirates deck. And that's actually probably uh, one of the more competitive versions of Pirates in aggro. But I was trying to build a tempo-based Pirates deck, and uh, maybe maybe the, the cartouches and stuff are just not the right way to go. But either way, it was a, a lot of fun, and I, I hope you guys did enjoy the gameplay. And hey, I'm back. I'm, uh, thank you for all the well wishes, and uh, there was quite a, people, a few people that were, you know, uh, gave me some some honest concern while I was gone, and um, and you know, thank each and every one of you guys for that. Also, remember, you know, if you decide that you want to uh, support the channel and stuff, you can do that on Patreon. Uh, I will be getting you guys a Patreon games going tonight. We've got uh, either di Dinos or Merfolk. It's probably going to be Dinos Live tomorrow at four. And then a final makeup edition or a final edition of the Patreon games for March uh, to, to finish off the March patrons. So uh, between tonight and tomorrow night, all patrons will get their decks played uh, that are part of that bracket. So uh, make sure that if you haven't posted a deck this month, make sure you're doing that because I'm going to be playing all of the Patreon decks in the next two days uh, so uh, we already have the the decks picked up for tonight but this is kind of the last call for everyone else I'm gonna be doing the makeup tonight and then tomorrow is gonna cover everyone else so um, I hope you guys all enjoy the deck 
I enjoyed playing it. It is a lot of fun. I, I did enjoy it, and I do like the fact that it's cheap enough that I just happen to have the cards laying around. I also happen to have the cards for my PS Revolution deck, so I have some some janky Challenger decks to, to, to play, you know, because I, I rent most of my cards, like most of you should if you're playing online, especially in standard with it rotating constantly. Remember, if you do want to rent, Sideboard MTG 15. It's a coupon code that saves you 15% when you sign up to Mana Traders. Like, 15% is worth it, right? Like, it, that's worth it. That's an extra the Scarab God or something in paper, which is where you want your cards. Not that I'm pushing people away from playing MTG online. I am just saying that, uh, that playing online is uh, it's a lot smoother when you can just play with everything. And, that, and that's what I enjoy. Either way, my name's Eric. It's been a lot of fun. This is Lamp. That's right. I'll punch Lamp in the face. Hope you guys had a lot of fun. We'll see you next time. Sideboard MTG.